Golden Wildfire. A contest of beasts. Having struck down the Imperial Army's incursion, the Alliance sees an opportunity to launch a counter-invasion. The Round Table convenes and urges the plan to go forward. The Alliance Army targets Burgley's territory, just beyond the Great Bridge. They advance to seize its fertile lands, which are protected by the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs. Having been vested with my father's authority, I cast the vote for House Goneril. We vote yay. And how say you, Count Gloucester? I have decided to yield House Gloucester's seat to my son. Lawrence, you will cast your vote as the new head of our house. Before I do, might I inquire as to the position of Count Ordelia? Count Ordelia couldn't attend in person, so he was briefed in advance on this meeting's agenda. At which time, he expressed that House Ordelia would support the opinion of the Council. Then House Gloucester will join Houses Edmund and Goneril and offer no objection. We vote yay. Then with the approval of all Houses, the Alliance will move forward with the proposal. Huh. Duke Goneril's position came as no surprise. But I didn't expect Margrave Edmund to show so much interest in your plan. Margrave Edmund knows an opportunity when he sees one. I'm just glad that his calculations swung in our favor. It goes without saying, but as the leader of House Daphnel, you have my full support. But I hope you understand that some of our other frontline commanders don't share my enthusiasm. Oh, I'm well aware. I'll need to find some way to get everyone on board. The round table voted on our next course of action, and support for an attack on the Empire was unanimous. We need to get preparations underway. Unanimous? I was led to believe that my father would be too busy overseeing the restoration of our territory to attend. The Count made me his proxy, which I interpreted as a sign of support. That's surprising. I'd heard Ordelia territory suffered greatly when the Empire invaded. Are you sure my father has agreed to this? Our resources are limited enough as it is. I can't imagine what we could spare for an extended campaign. Is it really a good idea to keep fighting this war? Since Houses Ordelia and Gloucester suffered the brunt of the casualties in our previous battles, we plan to ask relatively little of them going forward. In fact, Margrave Edmund has generously agreed to raise the lion's share of the funds we'll need. My adoptive father views this war as just another investment. He must be expecting significant returns. And he has every right to a return comparable to his contribution. Look, this isn't something you all need to worry about. Now, Lawrence, since you're the head of House Gloucester, would you care to elaborate on your thoughts about the proposal? Given the treachery House Gloucester has shown the Alliance as of late, I did not believe we were in any position to object to your proposal. Therefore, I chose to quietly acquiesce during the round table. That so-called treachery was all part of the plan to save the Alliance. No one actually thinks your house betrayed us. Laudable results do not erase duplicitous intent. Had the winds shifted in their favor, my father was prepared to remain with the Empire. Yeesh. All right, let's ask someone else. What do you think, my friend? Hasn't the decision already been made? At this point, you should be free to speak your mind. The Imperial Army attacked the Alliance first. They need to pay for what they've done. I agree. The Empire started this war. I say we finish it. I just want to be clear about one thing. I'm not trying to invade the Empire because of some personal ambition. Seizing House Burgley's territory is essential to the future of the Alliance. That much won't change whether we continue to wage war with the Empire or simply need a little leverage for peace talks. 
This fight is about protecting our future. So I'm asking you all to lend me your strength, because I can't do this alone. Oh, all right. I'm sure you must have agonized over this decision. I suppose the die has been cast. What matters now is that we win. That's true. All right. I'll steal my resolve and fight. This battle is for everyone in the Alliance. I'm gonna fight with all my muscles. Even the ones I don't know are there! I'm in too. And I'm not about to let Geralt and his mercenaries beat me either. I may be the one drawing up the plans, but it's up to all of us to see them through. I know you won't let me down. then huh. what do you think hunger is the true enemy I bet anyone would love this stuff. Doesn't a meal made by a friend always taste better? Agreed. Maybe I'll treat you to something myself next time. I'm quite the skilled cook, if I may say. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid. I'm surprised you know what I like. Thank you. This is wonderful. Oh, this is the best! Let's eat! Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Your delicious cooking once again. Are you kidding? Holst must be feeding you dog food. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. one of my favorites. Thank you. This really makes my day. Thanks. I love this. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy.
Okay. For me? You shouldn't have. <laughs> wow! That hit the spot! I'm so glad we're friends! Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid. You should make an effort to learn other people's preferences. Otherwise, any attempts at hospitality will fall horribly flat. I'm not sure if you want to hear my honest opinion. But in any case, thank you for the meal. Come back whenever you're hungry. So, yeah. Right on. I get you. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Another trick up the old sleeve. I'll put this to good use. It's how you use a power that matters. Glad I haven't been wasting my time. Can't wait to get back out there. Time to work you into shape. how you use a power that matters. I've got the hang of it. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. It's how you use a power that matters. This power will help me soar. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. There's nothing to fear from a stiff challenge. training, you'll be unstoppable. Well met.
in all honesty. Let's see. Hmm. Do you have a minute? What would be best? So, listen. Let's see. That reminds me. Definitely. That's right. In short, hmm. I'm busy. <sighs> Absolutely. Oh. Popping by. Excuse me. Stumped. Let's see. <laughs> One step at a time. By the way. Appreciate it.
Well... Hmm. Hmm. Stuffed. Looks like you can really pack it away too, pal. Still can't compete with you, Balthus. That sure did hit the spot, though. Got that right. Now we can charge into tomorrow's battle fully energized. Hey, let's say we make a little bet. See who can go deeper into enemy territory. All right, but only to compare who made it farther in the end. No other stakes. Not about to risk my life behind enemy lines just to win a bet. Way I see it, us mercenaries fight for two things. Gaining renown and staying alive. This isn't some kind of game. Figured you'd say something like that. You seem like the type. And yet, you asked me anyway. Don't try to drag me down with you, Balthus. What's wrong with a little game of chance? It's not like it's evil or something. Then what would you call it? Financially irresponsible? Because I don't want to end up broke either. Not like some people I know. You're one tough nut, I'll give you that. But I'm not talking about money. You know what I'm getting at, right? When you're on the battlefield, the only thing you can bet is your life. That's exactly what I take issue with. Okay, I know this might sound a little far-fetched, but hear me out. This ought to be good. Whatever you do, you'll do it ten times better if you're having fun, right? That's the key to success. I'd probably agree if our lives weren't on the line out there. Battles are different, and you know it. You could be having the time of your life one minute, then one slip up and you're bleeding out on the ground. Look, I get where you're coming from. Really. But my way's gotten me this far. Living on that edge between victory and death is the key to survival. <sighs> Maybe for you, but that's not how everyone else approaches it. I've known plenty of mercs who have said the same thing, but they never made it back home. In fact, you're the only one of them who's still kicking. So, I'm sorry, but I have to disagree. You know, you and I have a lot in common. We're practically kindred spirits. But this is the one thing we don't see eye to eye on. Strange, isn't it? From where I'm standing, the only strange thing is the way you're thinking about this. Well, I guess the bet's off then. Let's just put this little chat behind us and give it our all tomorrow. Sounds good. Just don't get too reckless and wind up losing your head, okay? <laughs> <laughs>